I find that in our everyday interactions, scientists mostly use decision trees in a way to decide things. They have discrete models uh, so they can make proofs. And uh, common sense reasoning is um, uh, tends to use some much more fuzzy thing to distinguish uh, reality. So it looks about distributions and probabilities and probability mass and so on. And uh, the reasoning processes work differently in common sense reasoning than they do in scientific reasoning. And scientific reasoning works uh, very well on the margins in special cases. And it's exactly in those cases where common sense reasoning fails. Mm. But common sense reasoning works over a much, much larger uh, set of circumstances and is far less brittle. And uh, generalized is better and it tends to be more stable, right? The ideas that we get in scientific reasoning tend to change every decade or so in at the frontiers of our thinking. And often we have quite fundamental changes in, yeah. in the way that we reason about reality, which do not necessarily lead to uh, fundamental changes in our common sense reasoning. So uh, common sense reasoning in a way is more robust for, for the most part. And uh, when we think about Uh, the way that we are um, making sense of reality uh, at uh, the boundary between science and common sense, um, the scientists might have the wrong biases. And it's also something that uh, resonates of, of, uh, with Harnad's thinking about symbol grounding, that a lot of people feel that scientific thinking is not properly grounded. And indeed, often it isn't, or it isn't quite in the same way as people intuit that it is. Mm. It sounds like to me common sense is more at the level of wisdom and it's, it, you know, wisdom that is sort of a case from understanding and un understandings previous. Yes, but uh, uh, wisdom is a specific thing. It's, uh, it's a result of an aesthetic in which you understand the dynamics of the world that you are in and you're able to choose the right goals based on this uh, understanding of the big picture. Also involves uh, choosing what not to do. And... Uh, not everybody who feels that they have common sense reasoning uh, are, uh, is able to do this. In, in practice, in our society, common sense means more that it's common, which means it's shared between people. Mm. And people can be insane in groups very easily. Mm. That's right. Uh, and uh, so personally, I find the aesthetics uh, of uh, people that uh, prefer a groupthink over autonomous uh, reasoning disgusting. This idea that you should give up your own insights and the things that you can uh, discover to be true just because the group thinks otherwise and you uh, you want to belong to the group, that's a very ugly thing to me. Mm -hmm. And uh, often when we talk about common sense, we think about the sense that we uh, have common with others. And this is not the common sense that I would like to talk to in this, this way. I would like to talk, uh, often we would say that wisdom is rare, it's not common. I mean, like, I do agree that a lot of our uh, common sense does sort of come from tribal biases or and things like that, you know, uh, wanting to fit in or wanting to, yeah, uh, the aesthetics of your peer group. And it uh, makes total sense. If you don't really understand reality and there's often not a, a benefit from wasting many, many years on understanding reality very deeply, and uh, the, your group has pretty good recipes, if you follow them, you're going to get to uh, share their resources and they're going to treat you as somebody who's trustworthy as long as you are willing to veer a set of beliefs as a badge. Right? This, uh, that's a, a very common pattern that happens in societies. That we basically ask people often even to br bring a sacrifice that they're willing to accept beliefs that they can recognize as patently untrue. So random people would not have the same belief and identify themselves as group members. Mm -hmm. right? So for instance, religions do this very often that they accept you, uh, ask you to accept a certain creed that no random person on the street would logically accept. <laughs> and the reason for that is that it makes you recognizable to your own group. Yeah. You don't want to end up on the wrong side of a spear. Of course. And you also want to know that you can trust that other person, even if you don't know that other person directly. So the difficulty when you build well, a yeah, civilization right. is how do you get over the Dunbar number? How do you, do you make it possible mm, to exactly. relate to strangers in a predictable way mm. and make sure that they are serving the same purposes as you do? Mm. And one of the best ways is to signal this, your allegiance, with certain codes that basically act as checksums that show that uh, the contents of your intellect are not randomly generated, they are the result of a particular indoctrination that makes you uh, likely to share the following preferences in sharing resources and making decisions.